you guys and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today I have my wild crystal box for September. Do you want to see what's inside? Stay tuned. Okay, you guys. So I just received my September wild crystal box. Last month I did show you how they revamped their box. They put it to a lower price point and kind of changed it up a little bit. So this is going to be my second one at that new price point so we can kind of see what they're doing. So they did change this price to $16 a month plus shipping, but they also have a tamed wild box. They have tea of the month club, crystal surprise me boxes, they have Tamed Wild Surprise Me boxes. They have all different things on their site. Plus you can buy products individually as well. I've actually purchased just the Wild Crystal Mystery boxes and I've purchased like chakra bags to put my chakra stones in and stuff like that. So they have a really neat website. I will link everything down below. You can check them out. This does come in a mailer bag that I do remove. I love these boxes. Plus, there's no stickers or anything on them, so I do reuse them. And when they're stacked, this is what you see, which I do like. So let's go ahead and get this opened. They always do protect everything very well with tons of bubble wrap. There's what it looks like inside with their pretty tissue paper. And it has their Tamed Wild sticker. Oh, this is like a wax paper no wonder why it just came off so easily so here is a card and yes their card and that is what is going to be in this month's box so let's see they used to have like a full-on sheet with tons of information that I had to kind of skim through because I wasn't gonna read all of that stuff and I always go back to it and read it later this month it looks like maybe we're getting one of those <laughs> Now they've revamped it and just put it on this one little card, which I do appreciate. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's in here. So here is this little box with a ribbon. This is like, it looks like a clear stone with all of this shiny silver outlining around the outside. It looks almost like foil like tin foil, but it's not. I don't know what that is, but that is really pretty. And then it comes with the chain. So we have a necklace here and it's a good length. It's not too short. So there's that. Let me take this one off. So there's the necklace. Like I said, that's very different definitely very different but there we have it it is nice like I said it's nice length of the chain for me okay so I'm going to assume that this is the crystal quartz because it doesn't give you a breakdown of what they are which I kind of wish that they kind of would go and explain it a little bit easier for me but on the top of this card it says Silva Lingham, I'm not sure how you say that, but that is exactly what that says right there. Then it says Zeolite, Z-E-O-L-I-T-E, -E, and then Crystal Quartz. So it's right there at the very top of this card. You can kind of see in the black font. And then all of this stuff here, like all it says is, if you ever feel perplexed or overwhelmed when working with crystals, look towards Crystal Quartz for clarity. This seemingly ordinary stone is anything but average and its transformative abilities make it a powerful addition to any collection. Clear quartz aura is penetrating yet therapeutic and the abilities to move stagnant energy and reclaim all chakras in just one of the many is just one of the many reasons it holds the title of the master healer. This guy is the next thing in here. This looks so neat. So I'm going to assume this is the zeolite. If I'm wrong, I'm sure I'll get corrected, but I'm assuming that this is the zeolite. The zeolites do not reference a particular stone, but instead an entire class of crystals. 
While each specimen contains its own unique properties, zeolites are widely used as aid during detox, rebirthing rituals, or past life regression therapy. It looks really neat though, with all the different colors. <laughs> well, the two different main colors, it looks really neat. So we have that. This is that big boy that's in these jars. So this would be the save, save. I have no clue how in the world you say this. Siva Lingham. I'm not quite sure. There is a little card here. It's on their thing and it says the Silv Siva Lingham. Legend says that when a child is born, the earth curates a, this thing, stone, specifically for them. The individual will encounter their stone at a time in their life when it is most useful to them. These stones are help for, helpful for those who struggle with the fear of losing their independence and individuality when, a, when in a relationship. This stone is reassuring to those in long distance relationships as it naturally creates an intimate energy. Look at that. That is so pretty. This is heavy. This is this feels like a heavy stone, but that's just really neat. And it is so soft and smooth. That is very smooth. So it says, it is possible for a single crystal to house the entirety of cosmic reality within its dense and unassuming fame. So these are collected from the Narmada River in India before being shaped and polished by locals. These stones are considered scared symbols of Lord Siva and Goddess Kali. The oblong shape is said to represent the cosmic egg and the limitless potential available through the fruitful union of God and Goddess. These stones from within water-drenched volcanic cavities and are usually interlaced with neighboring crystals and fragments of the matrix. But that is, this is very heavy, very heavy, and it's so smooth. That's really neat. It smells weird. That's really neat though. I really do like that. So we got this big old egg shaped, very silky, shiny stone. We got this really neat looking one. And then we have this clear quartz that they put on a necklace. So that is really neat. So that is everything that came in this month's box, you guys. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Again, we got these three different crystals for this month's box. And yeah, so thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and then you can see the different videos that I do load for you guys. And until next time, keep a smile on that gorgeous face of yours, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.